Hey, 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 it's your girl, Mel, Melanie Eusebi, and I'm here, special series, special video series, in regards to your money moves. So, quick video series on all of the questions, answering all the questions that I get in regards to money, money movements, career, finance, wealth, all of those things. I'm doing a quick 10 day series to honor and celebrate the launch of my Money Moves membership. So today I want to talk about an exercise that I would like the small business owners to go through particularly. Actually, you know what? You could even do it with your salary if you're a career person as well. But this is particularly impactful for my small business people. And it comes from the idea of actually starting with your profit when you are calculating what it takes to run your business. So typically when I work with small businesses, when small businesses kind of come to me or I'm looking at their business plans when we're judging some of the awards programs that I'm part of, we always look at this cost based, right? So we look at what does it take for you to start your business and run your business? And that's their budget. For some, I would only say some, some of them have their salaries included in terms of what it takes for them to live. Uh, But usually, even if they do have a salary, it's pretty much pared down to the basics, right? Like if, if, if there is one at all. But what I'd like you to do today, and you can do this with your career or you can do this with your business, but I would like you to start your budgets, your goals, your plans with profit first. What do I mean by that? I mean that at the end of the year or at the end of the day, calculate how much profit you would want. So that's aside from all the costs that it takes to run your business. That's aside from all the costs that you need as a person to run your life. So whether that be as a person, we're talking about mortgage, we're talking about gas and utilities, or we're talking about TV license, that put that all aside, those are your costs totally get that, but I want you to start with your goals and your planning and start with how much profit would you like to make? And then work your way backwards. Add on how much your salary, how much salary that you'll need and how much salary that you want that's realistic in this year. And then also add on your cost. So those are three big chunks, three big sections of your budget. And why am I asking you to calculate profit first? Because sometimes what happens is that when we start with the costs, which most of us do, what that means is that we are just, we're operating at a cost level. We're saying, okay, you know what, how much, you know, when I'm first starting up, how much is it going to take for this business just to wash its face, just for it to pay its own costs, right? For it to be viable. That's how, how, where most of us start when we're starting our business. But in regards to the scale up, you know, like the lift off, the goals, like, you know, the future, then I want you to start looking at, okay, well, how much do I actually want to make? How much do I want my business to profit? How much do I want to profit myself? How much extra do I want to have to choose to either reinvest into the business or to take out? How much do I choose to reinvest in myself as well? It changes your mindset considerably because then you start thinking about how much money you need to make in order for you to get better, how much money you need to make in order for you for you to be free. So it's a really, really simple exercise, but it changes your mindset considerably from where I see a lot of small businesses failing, where number one, worst case scenario is that you're not even figuring out the costs. Second worst case scenario is that you're not calculating the cost of you as a small business owner, how much it's taking from you and how much you need to get from it. That's like the two worst cases. But best case scenario is when you're, for your goal setting, for your planning, how much profit do you want to make? Start with that figure. Then second figure is how much does it take for this business to run? Third business and and third bit, make sure you're including how much it takes for you to invest your time in the business because your time is not free. You could be working for somebody else, right? And you could be making money right away, but you're not doing that. You're investing your time. 
And that's not to say that you gotta take some exorbitant salary that's gonna kill the business. But what it does say is that you need to calculate how much time you're giving and you gotta calculate what that looks like in terms of a salary. And when you're ready to scale up, then you know, you're know you not gonna be left out with nothing. You know, And I've learned this the hard way, right? So uh, my business partners and I, we've invested our time in, our, in, in the business considerably and we didn't necessarily calculate, like it's incalculable actually, how much time all of us have invested in creating a strong, healthy business. But the thing is, is that it's untenable for anyone to work for free for a really, really long time. It just, you know, like you start to get resentful, you start to get hard done by, as my business partner says. And it's, so what I'm trying to do in order for you to to prevent that from happening to you is to just keep that figure, at least in the back of your mind, knowing that the reality is gonna come, the point's gonna come, where you're going to have to figure out if you want to scale up the business and you want to make profit, you want to reinvest the profit, you want to take the profit out, whatever you want to do with it. But the, the, in order for you to be a viable business, I suggest that you do this first. What does that look like in reality? In reality, it means, okay, if I have like four spreadsheets or four lines on a spreadsheet, then one of those lines has got to be after tax profit. What does that look like? And then it really helps towards making your sales targets. It helps towards making your sales goals. It helps you figure out how many widgets you have to sell. It helps you figure out all of those things. It puts it clear in your mind that you are trying, like what do you have to do to grow? Because again, I see so many women, so many BAME businesses not calculating their salary and not calculating what kind of profit they want, what kind of profit they need in order for their business to be able to kind of scale up from their kitchen table to maybe using a workspace or scale up in regards to getting extra members of the team, getting extra members of the team to help you out. Like it really prevents them from scaling up if you're not thinking about the amount of profit that you need to invest in your business. This is not just an exercise for large businesses. This is not an exercise for businesses, you know, for uh, this is an exercise for even if you are running a lifestyle business and it's for yourself, then profit is how you buy the new computer that you may need, how you may buy some services that may help you out and free up your time. So think about profit first, my friends, okay? That's my tip for the day. Career women, career men, you can figure that, you can use it. Small business entrepreneurs, scaling up entrepreneurs, you can do this as well, but it's key that you think of the scale up, the level up first, okay? See you on the other side. I would love to see you at my membership actually, because these are the kinds of things that we are discussing. Like what is the mindset? What are the tools that you need to think of in regards to taking your money and your finances to the next level? And it's all about your financial independence, your financial resilience, your financial wellness. And so I'm wishing all of you a whole lot of wellness in every aspect of your life. And I will see you soon.